We were talking about Arsenal. Let's stay with Arsenal, shall we? Because Mikel Arteta has been speaking ahead of his trip to Brentford tomorrow night and told us, how about this, how it feels to take charge of Arsenal for the 200th time. Great, really proud uh, to reach that uh, that number in a big club is always difficult and that means that you do have to win a lot of games and um, and hopefully a lot of more positive things, uh, they will come. Or 300 or whatever. <laughs> the most important one in our job is, is tomorrow. That's, that's the, only, the only thing that matters. 200th game, half a billion pound, one FA Cup with someone else's team. <laughs> Stop saying that. <clears throat> um, you're, uh, you're obviously a big fan of Mikel Arteta mm-hmm. for so many reasons, I would imagine. Um, with his with his squad that he's got now, this is his team, this is his squad, this is his formation, his tactics. Um, how far can he take this Arsenal team, do you think, Benzie? Because uh, the reason I say that, we spoke the other day about Andy Murray. Yeah. And he, I'm not comparing Arsenal to Andy Murray. But, he's in, but Andy Murray's <clears throat> unbelievable. In an era with them three juggernauts. Uh, and there's only so much you can win, yeah. right? Same applies to Arsenal. No matter how good they're going to be, you've got Liverpool Klopp. Man City. Yeah. And you've got Pep and Klopp. Yeah. So it's really tough for any manager, including your manager, to, to prove their worth at the moment, right? Yeah, and I do like... Um, listen, I like Arteta. Um, of course, there's there's always decisions and situations in any manager tenure where even as a football fan, you question, you go, mm, really? Is his time really up? Um, and you look at some of the finishes, the eighth, the eighth, and they won the other. I think, I think what helped him a little bit... and the I'm second. Sure, yeah, I think what helped him, uh, certainly at the very start, was winning the FA Cup so soon. He, I don't he, know if that did help nah, him or did, added mate, the pressure. No, it, it, it gave him a bit of leeway because even when he was going through a tough time, and trust me, there were there were times, moments mm. at the start, he was going through tough times where you go, all of a sudden you go, oh, he's won the FA Cup. Okay, but we'll just we'll just like relax and mm. chill for a bit, chill for a bit. Um, but no, what, I like what he's done. I mean, his record at Arsenal is exceptional. And, and what I like about it, he's at a big club and they're still allowing him the opportunity to, to grow because he's still learning on the job. He's, he's still a novice mm. in terms of being a manager. He has made decisions where I've gone, yep, like the Aubameyang situation, I 100% agreed with that. Um, even down to the goalkeeper situation with Leno and Ramsdale, I, I've had no issue with that. And even the Ramsdale situation on in itself, him buying Ramsdale, at first I was like, mm, really? But then when Ramsdale came in, I went, oh, okay, that's why he's done that. So, but of course, it, it gets to a point in any big football club where the aim is not to take part, it's to start winning. And I'm sure Arteta now, after finishing second last season, the pressure's gone up a little bit that he has to start winning trophies. Now, I'm not saying that's league titles, because as you said there, Liverpool, Manchester City are juggernauts, right? Before you think about winning anything in this country, you must have to run it past them. Mm. Like, do you, do you know what I mean when I say that? Yeah, totally. Like, League Cup, are you, are you guys going to win that? No? Okay, well, you're, FA Cup, are you guys in the... Run? You, you must have to run it past them before you start thinking, right, we can win this, we can win that. But I still think you look at his time in charge of Arsenal and go... Yeah, really good job. And it shows you what a manager can do. Mm. If you give him time, let him build his own squad, it will be better in the long run, potentially. Okay. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.